now that this sentence has been placed we will add the small ad that is uh, actually located just below the, the search box this is the box that I'm talking about so to do that you add a rectangle here we're also going to look for the dimensions of this box okay the box is actually oh, sorry is actually 220 pixels wide and 39 pixels high so let's write it down here here we have our box we place it just well uh, you, you notice that there is actually well the box is actually rounded so how to make that in action it's pretty easy to do it you select the rectangle then you right click on it and you select a new button shape called rounded rectangle once you click on it there is a small um, the small yellow arrow that appears here on the top left corner of the box if we zoom into the wireframe by using this menu here for instance here or by using Apple and the plus sign here you can zoom a lot basically if you use the cursor to move uh, to move the yellow triangle you, you notice that the roundness of the border uh, changes accordingly so what we want is to have this kind of, of, of roundness for instance let's zoom out you can zoom out by using that or you can zoom out by using Apple and the minus, oh sorry, and the minus sign. Okay, let's put it at hundred percent, and we'll uh, we'll now have um, have this text. Let's just uh, move forward and do it. that we have the text we'll try to center the text into the box so you have two methods to do it the first one is uh, is to do it visually so here you can try to 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 put the text and uh, make it so it's it's centered but I don't really like that that um, that way of doing things I really prefer to actually um, actually do that so Basically, you you make it so the box uh, has the exact same width as the text panel, and once it's done, you just center the text, and so poof, you know that the text is centered into the box, and we can do that uh, with the interface designer uh, text also. And here you center it, and now it's centered. So you now have a box that is perfectly centered with the text in it. add some styling to that box so we know that this should be 11 pixels high and that this should be in bold so you can either use that or use the Apple B uh, key that is uh, commonly used in every word processor you can now align that a little bit better and you could uh, add a border color to that box and a background color too so to add a background color you just click here on the small arrow here and you have two options either you select one of these colors here or if you know the colors that you want to put in it you just write it down here so we know that the box should be f1 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 this is an hexadecimal color and we want to have a specific border color of c oh sorry c and you press return and here we have now the exact same color as uh, as the box there so it looks pretty amazing you can also go there and center that so it's it's aligned okay let's align it a little bit okay now it's aligned it's perfectly aligned with one another don't forget to save your work from time to time because Axure doesn't have an auto backup, an auto save feature. So it's very important if you don't want to lose your work by pressing Apple and S, for instance. Or you can also use the menu file, save your document. Very, very important.